any other secret contract that was given to him and the reason why i'm asking this is because on his secret contract what do you mean by secret contract well the reason i'm asking this is because on his morning life he says that the ministry of housing owes him money but there's nothing in the public to say he has any business with ministry of housing i guess they did a tender they awarded it but i don't know if it's a secret contract or not because those document and and the survey plan that they publish in Starbrook News is a wrong plan because the plan stated in the official gazette in the Crown in the British days stated who had drawn the plan and the plan number is stated there as well. So, so, so there's, a, there's a corruption even with the plan that they put out there? Yes, they, ha they, they had to do something at Lands and Survey to undermine the original survey plan of that entire plot of lands. People is be billionaires and on top of fucking fall to the bottom, okay? And like Kriti, I was listening to Kriti Smart, he said, how is it that you built me when the money was lent as a loan? You didn't give him the money to give him a start. You loaned him the money. He has no tax to hotel, Jack Bear, friends, and so forth. I don't know if anybody's getting a kickback. I don't know who's getting a kickback. But usually when these deals and 10 years sweetheart deals, no taxes and concessions and all these manner of things, and pro poor Drupati and poor Way of Knee and so forth from the quarantine and Linda, they got to pay taxes for every single thing. The Public Procurement Commission had um, wanted to review the tendering process for a contract, um, 800 million pump station contract. Was those doc documents handed over to the public? I think it's the company that Critic is a part of. Yes, so I, the last time I spoke on this matter was maybe several months ago. Now, yeah, I think this breaking critics. Right now, critics is, uh, people look like, oh, oh my God, like we got for help critics, we got critics fast. So guess what? Crit critics raking in millions right now with I Conte doing donation. Mark, I want to see this Jack Deal is known to be a path pathological liar to this nation. And that land do not belong to the state. I haven't seen the mayor of Georgetown my good friend and colleague back then issue any statement as yet on this land and this investment can you say if it's true that he was um there's some allegations circulating that he was handed 130 million mobilization fund but he hasn't done any work on the ground as yet no i if it's an allegation it couldn't be an allegation it could be a it's either he got the fund or not so i don't um now, mobilization advance is a standard part of every contract. It was a petty move by the by uh, the Mohammeds. I think that they're bigger than that. They're better than that. I love and I respect them. I respect critics. This here was a move just to cause pure embarrassment. And it, it happened, you know, and I hope that they're happy about it. Those lands was handed to the crown and from the crown, it handed to the city of Georgetown. So Jack Dale and Mr. Nandalal need to go and do some research in the future. But you see people like Irfan, um, the Honorable Minister Priya Mani Chen, uh, they, they don't care about the children of the ordinary Guyanese people. You know, they can afford to send them kids to private school. Oh, you still didn't get your ticket? This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. The Public Procurement Commission had um, wanted to review the tendering process for a contract, um, 800 million pump station contract. Was those doc documents hand it over to the public. I think it's the company that Critic is a part of. Yes, so I, the last time I spoke on this matter was maybe several months ago. I had a report at that time
from the Minister of Finance. In fact, he gave a report to the Ministry of the Cabinet that all the documents, except in one document which he committed, uh, would be sent over. Not on this project, but all the documents requested by the Public Procurement Commission had been handed over. So that was my last report. I have not followed it because now the matter is with the PPC and they're looking into their own the matter there. So it may be good to ask Minister of Finance because if there is any further request of the ministry, I'm not aware that there is a further request. And that was the last position I had when he said to, at that time all the documents that were requested by the Public Procurement Commission had been handed over. Can you say if it's true that he was, um, there are some allegations circulating that he was handed the 130 million mobilization fund, but he hasn't done any work on the ground as yet? No, I, if it's an allegation, it couldn't be an allegation, it could be a, it's either he got the fund or not. So I don't, um, now mobilization advance is a standard part of every contract so if the contract document if that is there in his document it will be for every pump station and almost every other contract that's signed by the government of Guyana so when people receive a mobilization advance they have to secure it against a bank document so that if they don't if, if they don't utilize it for the project and they run away with it, then the government can go to the insurance company or the bank that guarantees it, basically. So that's all, that's a standard practice for every contract. So it's not unusual in this case if it was done. Um, so I don't see why that would be a problem. Just following up on that as well, if um, he doesn't make progress with his contract, we know the government No, no, has no, that's hypothetical. That's hypothetical. <laughs> if he doesn't, that's a different matter. That's hypothetical. I dealt with you on the principle of a mobilization advance, which is a standard thing in a bidding document and a contract. Um, are there any other secret contract that was given to him? And the reason why I'm asking is because on his... Secret contract? What do you mean by secret contract? Well, the reason I'm asking this is because on his morning life, he says that the Ministry of Housing owes him money, but there's nothing in the public to say he has any business with Ministry of Housing. I guess they did a tender, they awarded it, but I don't know if it's a secret contract or not. So you have to ask him. Why don't you ask him? You could call, you could call him and ask him if he got the secret contract or the minister. Yeah. Um, at the energy conference, Guyana so, was... So in, on a secret contract, who said that he didn't receive any money? He, he himself, on his morning life. Yeah, he that's says a, Minister that's a great, losing money. That's a great <laughs> secret contract that he got. If I got a secret contract, I would not say I didn't receive money on this secret contract. Um, Doesn't make it aware right. if he had any well, business with yeah, them. Yeah, but the media is not aware of everything. Uh, lots of things, and often because of their incompetence in some cases, and lot, lots of times because of the distortion, they ignore the positive things. So that's not an excuse. So okay, find no out problem. from him if he has a secret contract and call him grow if he has a secret contract. So is there a contract or there is no contract? What's really going on? We still ain't get to the bottom of it because guess what? Jack Dio ain't telling you nothing. Jack Dio say, hey, go and ask critic about his contract. But if there is a contract, then definitely the money don't pass for the contract because it's a normal thing for contracts get that type of advancement budget. So what's really going on here? You see, even Jack Dio getting questioned by the vice note. Yo, these vice, these vice note gone far. These vice note gone far because even Jack Dio getting questioned by these vice note in the press conference. Jack Dio getting asked about the 130 million what Pops was talking about in Critics Vice Note that went to Melly Mel. How crazy is that? Right? When we really contemplate what's going on here. You can see it's full circle, this whole thing coming. And that's why Randabar probably come out and say, look, that was the lowest of low. 
or really go to because guess what? Even Jack Dio getting questioned about it. Even Jack Dio getting asked, yo, we're really going now this money. Critics getting money or not. Why are you paying this man for these equipment? <laughs> I am just presenting the information in the most neutral way that I can. But it's still funny at the same time. You see what I'm saying? Now, Randa as well is getting into this conversation. You see Randa is saying, look, this went to all time low. This information, this private conversation between assumed friends should have never been leaked out at third party for them to now query on what was spoken about in privacy. I could get a pint right there. And if you're a real person, you could get a pint right there. Remember now, we ain't looking at what nobody else do before or after. We just talking about that. Because I ain't saying that I agree with nothing that was said from the perspective of Miss Rhonda. Or I ain't saying that I respect or I got nothing for do with anything that was said from the other people's perspective. We just looking at the real situation we're going on right here. With these voice note and we're around this comment on, right? Let me hear what she got to say right now about that too. You understand? And I could I'm in time to that. And like I said, I always beg Mr. Marmy not because I love the work that he does. But leaking this fucking information was petty. And this is a level that I never expected them to stoop to, okay? This is stooping. And that's why I was upset. Because that's stooping to a level that you don't need to stoop to. You're bigger than that. You're doing so much great things for the country. So many good things for the country. Why stoop to this level? Huh? You, I watched Critics Live this morning. He's getting support. Support after support after people pouring in support to him. Because a lot of people realize what was done was wrong. But the people them that are praying for Critics Downfall... Is not happy, you understand? Because he didn't fall. That's the thing. He didn't fall. So y'all rejoicing for fucking nothing. How could y'all rejoice when people are actually, if he is hurting? Like he said, of course this has to affect him somehow or the other. He's human. Y'all rejoicing. Like the, like, 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 hallelujah. Oh my God, he gonna be broke. How y'all could fucking be happy about that? That could happen to any one of us. Any one of us. People just be billionaires and on top and fucking fall to the bottom. Okay? And like Kriti, I was listening to Kriti Smart and he said, How is it that you built me when the money was lent as a loan? You didn't give him the money to give him a start. You loaned him the money. Now he didn't repair you, that's fucked it. That's wrong, okay? That's with the studio I'm talking about. I don't know what's the issue with, it, with the equipment, but that should have been handled every fucking day. That should have been handled behind the scenes, you understand? The supporters giving him millions to pay off their fucking. Thank you. He said that. I'm not even happy for fucking buy an excavator fee for $32 million. Now, yeah, I think this breaking critics. Right now, critics is, uh, people look like, oh, oh my God, like we got for help critics, we got critics fast. So guess what? Crit critics raking in millions right now, we buy a spunt in doing donation. Donation you raking in right now. Cause guess what? It coming from all around the fucking world to help him because of how y'all making it fucking seem. Oh my God, he fall, you know? The man know. The man don't know how for how for do this now. This is what he does. All right. So if yeah, I think he found uh, he can get more. He can get up and he can get more. Like I said, it was a petty move by the by uh, the Mohammeds. I think that they're bigger than that. They're better than that. I love and I respect them. I respect critics. This here was a, a move just to cause pure embarrassment, and it, it happened, you know. And I hope that they're happy about it. But is it right? No, it's not right. Like I said, this could happen to all of us or any one of us. Any one of us. Everybody doors is get hit with hard times. But it's how you you come out of it is what matters. Okay. Mike.
We definitely in wishing no form of misfortune for no brother or sister of the soil. Definitely not. Everybody should enjoy the greatness and the best that they can achieve in this life that they have to experience. But this is the thing too. We don't accept no form of disrespect. Why? Because we always give respect. So we accept no form of disrespect. So we're going to get into this situation right here. Where Mayor Narayan is exposing a situation that a lot of persons might not pay attention to. A lot of persons might be paying too much attention to it. Because guess what? It's going on in North and East and West in that area there in the rum belts. Where a lot of persons don't pay a lot of attention to rum belt. You know what I'm saying? It's just a regular little thing. But since the roundabout come there and the highway is there now, it's a very popular and lucrative vicinity to have real estate. Now we hear that a lot of hotels are about to be established in this area. A lot of hotels have been given 10 years tax holiday. Could you believe that? 10 years of paying no tax to establish a hotel in that area? Now we got to ask ourselves, are the persons that are allegedly the state, is the state earning the most from that? Are the people of that community going to be gaining the most from that investment? Did they gain anything from that investment? But we hear that they might have been cheated out of some land. And that's what the mayor is saying. But we can get into this conversation more by letting the mayor speak directly on what's going on with this 10-year hotel tax holiday fraud allegedly that's going on in the country right now. There's no tax to hotel Jaguar friends and so forth. I don't know if anybody's getting a kickback. I don't know who's getting a kickback, but usually when these deals and 10 years sweetheart deals, no taxes and concessions and all these manner of things, and pro, poor Drupati and poor Way of Knee and so forth from the quarantine and Linden, they got to pay taxes for every single thing. But you have a foreign company got into Guyana and they've been getting six months duty free or whatever, you know. 10 years, guys. 10 years. But let's talk about this land here, please, Mr. Mayor, former mayor of Georgetown. Let me talk about this land. Jagger was saying, one second, sir. Thank you, Pandit. Jagger was saying that this, this land, a state land. That's what he's telling the Guyanese people. So because it is state land, them can take them and do anything with it. Talk to us, Mr. Mayor. Talk to well, us. Well, Mark, I want to say this, Jack. Dio is known to be a pathi pathological liar to this nation. And that land do not belong to the state, the state. I haven't seen the mayor of Georgetown, my good friend and colleague back then, issue any statement as yet on this land and this investment. I've saw, saw he is just uh, make a comment at the energy conference but those lands at Carifesta avenue which which a part is leased to mr um uh nis you have nis you got um the 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 piece of the till up to the the Absit Evleri. All of those areas have been leased from the uh, transport from the city. And um, I want to say this much that those lands was handed to the Krong. And from the Krong, it handed to the city of Georgetown. So Jack Dale and Mr. Nandalal need to go and do some research because those documents and, and the survey plan that they publish in Starbrook News is a wrong plan because the plan stated 
in the official gazette in the Crown in the British days stated who had drawn the plan and the plan number is stated there as well. So, so, so there's, a, there's a corruption even with the plan that they put out there? Yes, they, ha they, they have to do something at Lands and Survey to undermine the original survey plan of that entire plot of lands. Uh, wait, 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 a, wait a minute, that entire plot of land, corruption according to what we're possibility of high level official corruption? Now wait a minute, uh, Mr. Mr. Mayor, I call you Mr. Mayor still, even though you're former mayor of Georgetown, Pandit Obraj Narayan, uh, we just can't talk these things to let people think that we're just talking, uh, Mr. Kirk Fraser, right? Or Pandit Obraj Narayan, my guest <laughs> this evening. Uh, to let people think that we're just talking. Because oftentimes, Jack Day with these guys, they love to say, oh man, a propaganda, a propaganda, or whatever. Uh, where is uh, our operator, uh, Lemon? Can you show the evidence, please? And um, Mr. Mayor, former mayor, uh, we're going to surprise you with this here. We'd like for you, though, to explain what's happening here. Here it is. You just spoke about this is, uh, what it was, it a third million something? And then they have uh, this here, the transport. What's going on? This is the transport. I don't know if this looks familiar, if this, if you're seeing these sort of things here. Uh, tell us what this is about, please. I, hold of this. I believe this is a transport. Oh, this, this is, this is for another property, another, uh, let, let me just talk to our operator, Lemon. Uh, we need the correct uh, documents on here. We'll deal with this shortly. But let's touch back on that Qatari uh, hotel. $300 million investment that Jack Dale, they apparently took this land away that goes to the city of Georgetown that belongs to the people of Georgetown. Continue, please, sir. Continue. Uh, yes. Uh, let me see the, the, the official gazette of the British days got the the plan number and also the, the who drawn that plan. So the, what they put in Starbrook News and what they published there, it is false. So somebody in the Guyana Lanson survey is tampering with the original document for that whole plot of land, including Numpel Park. Including Numpel Park. So the transport is there with the Gazette. And I'm sorry I'm not at the city council because those things should be made publicly already. Publicly already. And these these matters should not be taken lightly by the city council. The city council need to come out and talk to the citizen of the city and the country at large. All this investment is happening without any consultation in the city, well, not under my leadership. Those things that took place under my leadership, I come out boldly, I came out boldly and speak against it. I am not anti-development. I want to see development in my country. I want to see development in our, our city. But you ha remember, you have a city council, you have a municipality where you have force. You have a soil turning for such a project and the mayor of the city didn't, didn't invite be invited they didn't consult with the mayor and, and, and council of georgetown what nonsense and this government speaking on democracy publish false information in 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 in, in, in the news and the media to to show people what so those documents are there but lands and survey got a big role to play in this kind of corruption and confusion and destruction of our lands in this country. You cannot dock or hide the original documentation for lands in this country. You can't go and produce one just like that because it's your friends and investors. No, you, you have Guyanese people right here who want to put up hotels, who want to invest, but they will never get a concession of 10 years. Guyanese don't get concession like that if they started a business.
So those lands, I want the public to know, and I believe the city council should challenge the government in the court because I know for a fact the documentation is there. I I have the transport and the, the gazetted um, orders back in the colonial days in the office, and my deputy mayor, who, who, who is now mayor, has those documents as well. Um, because we share documents when I was mayor, documents. So I believe this should not be taken lightly. This should be, th this matter should be taken serious. Those ground is for recreational purposes and should not be changed. If they wish to change the land use for, for development purpose, go and consult with the city council. Go and then it will move to housing and other stakeholders. You need a round table discussion. So this nonsense that the vice president and the, the president and all the ministers of government is tolerating, it is undemocratic. It is a dictatorship. It's it's it, it becoming like Hitler. So we must not stand up as a democratic society and a nation to this nonsense that the government is doing in this country. We must stand against it. When the government do good, I will speak good and speak great about the government. But with this nonsense and disrespectful to our public servants and local government, we cannot allow those things. If, and look at for example, I sorry I don't have the information. I will send it to you, Mark. There is a letter I wrote to the vice president through his secretary in 2020. Identify projects of the city. Projects of the city. I have seen some have been executed. And those are the city council initiative. But let me tell you, many people want to know why I'm not that publicly anymore. I am in my corner. I'm looking on. And I'm ready to take on this government at any time. I am, I challenge Minister Darmlal for a national debate. And I said to him when he was Minister of Local Government, he will demit the office before me and so said, so done. Right? Because the PPP is based on propaganda and false news to this public. And people are not reading the constitution of this country to understand the rights of this country so that they can able to speak out on this government but let me say that we need to act as Guyanese not as a I'm not speaking here for a political party we Guyanese need to come out whether you your support of the PPP your support of the People National Congress reform or AFC or APNU we have to stand up to the nonsense this government is doing because our children and grandchildren will face the blunt of the day, the future. But you see people like Irfan, um, the Honorable Minister Priya Mani Chen, uh, they, they don't care about the children of the ordinary Guyanese people. You know, they can afford to send them kids to private school i am not um bashing them or anything because i do send my kids to private school as well but we have to cater as leaders have to understand the plight of the teachers and that kind of money have been too small it's a minor and we must understand that this country is generating a revenue from over six natural resources and where are those monies only today you can able to see in the news that the new hotel the cattery group of companies that will be here will be given 10 years of tax exemption or concession from the government of guyana what happens to our teachers what happened to our wait, nurses wait, wait a minute mr infused agave the most nutritious replacement for sugar 
the minister of security got a hand in the cocaine passing the gra staff and the supervisor who hide the scanning records got a hand in the cocaine passing 11 